Hi, Mel McCabe here with Beachcation. Today we're going to show you how to wire wrap briolettes, which are basically teardrop pendants that are top drilled. Before you take this class, you might want to hop on over to our basic loops class, which is perfect for a beginning wire worker. Then come on back and I'll show you how to wrap a briolette. In today's class, we're going to use a fine tip precision flush cutter. This is a nice Tronex one. You're going to want to get in there and really be able to cut the tip of the wire with these briolettes since they're so small. Chain nose plier, a round nose plier, an assortment of briolettes, and some 24 gauge wire of your choice or 26 gauge wire if you're working with smaller stones or gemstones that have a smaller hole. I did want to point out here too that I have actually a little puppy bite here. I didn't want you guys to think I didn't wash my hands. So that's not necessary for this class, but I thought I'd explain it anyway. When you start wrapping briolettes, first you're going to want to evaluate what stone or crystal that you're going to be wrapping because you're going to use a different gauge wire depending on the stone. Here we have crystals that are human made so the holes are all evenly drilled and they're a little bit larger so you can use a thicker wire like 24 gauge. Although you can fit a 22 gauge wire in there, you're not going to want to use the thickest wire possible because these are crystals, which is glass. And same with your gemstones too, these are delicate. So if you use a thick, thick wire like a 22 gauge, you run the risk of breaking the tip off. Here we have a gemstone where you could fit about a 24 gauge wire. Here's a larger gemstone where you can fit maybe even a 22, but I'd still probably stick with the 24 gauge wire again so you don't run the risk of breaking the tip off. And here you have your tiny little briolettes where you'd use a 26 gauge wire. Even if you could fit a 24 gauge wire in here, you'd probably stick with 26 because these little guys are very delicate at the tip. They tend to drill the holes very small with some of these gemstones because gemstones are sold by weight and they don't want to lose a lot of the gemstone. So they'll have a very small drilled hole here. Here are some of the different briolette wraps. We have the classic wrap here. We have what I call the hat wrap because I've given the crystal a little yarmulke. We have a little bird's nest wrap. And then I've wrapped here with the hat wrap but choked up on the plier, which I'll show you guys, so that it actually, you can slide it on or off your chain. This one you can do as a classic wrap or a hat wrap or the nest wrap for that matter. It just allows you to take it on and off the chain. Here is a close-up of some of the different briolette wraps. We have the classic wrap, the hat wrap or yarmulke wrap where you create a little hat over your crystal, the bird's nest wrap which is a variation on the hat wrap, and then here's a crystal where I did the hat wrap with a little larger loop at the top so you can get it on and off the chain. Okay, now we're ready to wrap our briolette. We're gonna use artistic wire here so you can see better. I go ahead and put the wire through, leave about half an inch on one side. Pull with your index finger and your thumb, the two wires together. Then use your chain no pliers. Squeeze here. Then take your round nose pliers and hold on to both wires. The longer wire, you're going to go ahead and pull that away from you. Then you're going to take the round nose pliers, reposition them so now they're in the armpit of that longer wire in that 90 degree angle. If you want to make a larger loop so that your briolette can go on and off the chain, you'll go ahead and choke up higher here so it'll be a bigger loop. I'm going to go right here in the middle so it'll be a smaller loop. I pull this longer wire toward me tightly around the plier. Now I'm left with my elephant trunk here. Then I go ahead and put the bottom of the plier, round nose, back in here. Turn it ever so slightly so you'll have a really straight loop. And then I'm going to wrap the wire around the bottom of the round nose plier. So there you have your loop. Then you're going to go ahead and make sure that that little half inch of wire is right through 
the loop there. So it looks like a musical note. Then with your chain nose pliers, go ahead and just squeeze on that musical note. Now you don't want to grip it too tight because then you're going to go ahead and smush the loop and it's going to have like a little kink in it. So go ahead and you want a firm grip but not too tight there. Now you're going to wrap from left to right coming down on the briolette just like you read except maybe in Japan. And this is where it's going to take a little practice. You'll be glad that you have that craft wire because the tension on how you're holding the wire, you want it to be tight but not too tight so that it's kind of all wrapping over each other. Just takes a little bit of practice. Keep wrapping. There you go. Then you go ahead and pull the smaller part of the wire here down. Get in here with your cutters, the very tip. This is where it's nice to have really sharp tip, more precision cutter. Get in there and snip that wire. And you're making sure that you go ahead and pull that down because it's frustrating if you get your perfect little hat wrap. If you leave the wire up and then you think, oh, I can cut it that way, and then you accidentally cut that top loop and then you've kind of destroyed your little wrap, that's pretty frustrating. I've done it though. Go ahead and cut that guy. I'm going to go ahead and cut this guy too, because it's kind of sticking out here, right there. And then with my chain nose pliers, I'm going to go ahead and smash this guy right here so that he's not sticking out. And you can see my loop here got a little bit bent, so I can with my chain nose again go ahead and reposition that so it's straight. And there's my briolette wrap. Okay, let's do this again since practice makes perfect. We're going to go ahead and put our craft wire right there into the crystal. This time we're going to go ahead and attach it to a chain, so you'll see how to do that. You're leaving about half an inch on one side. Go ahead and pull and squeeze with your index finger and thumb. Squeeze it more with your chain nose pliers. Then with your round nose pliers, you're going to go ahead and hold on there to the short part of the wire and the long. Pull that long wire away from you at a 90 degree angle. Then go ahead, readjust your pliers here. Put them right in the armpit there, the wire. And pull that long wire towards you, creating your elephant trunk. There's your elephant trunk. Put the bottom of the round nose plier back in there. Turn it ever so slightly to make sure that your loop is straight. And you're going to take that long part of the wire there, pull it around the pliers. Don't forget here, if I would have choked up higher on the plier, higher on the plier, there's a funny one, you'd be making a larger loop so that if you wanted to create that loop where it could go on and off the chain. Here we're doing a small loop. Then you're going to grab your chain nose pliers, and this is where it's different. We're going to go ahead and pull to the side our loop so that it allows for us to go right through the chain. Now your first instinct for a lot of people is going to be to just pull the loop out, but that's going to distort your perfect little circle. So instead, go ahead and grab with your chain nose pliers and just pull it off to the side. So you're not changing the shape here of your circle or your loop. Then you'll go ahead and attach it to your chain. Just feed it right through the chain there. Let your chain kind of just dangle down here. With your chain nose pliers, you're going to go ahead and want to hold on to your loop. But don't grab the chain in there, because if you do, sometimes the chain that you're working with is pretty delicate, and you don't want to smush that chain. So you go ahead and hold on there. And then again, go ahead and wrap left to right. Here we'll go ahead and just do a few wraps, kind of a classic one. Then I'm going to go ahead and pull the smaller part of the loop here of your wire, pulling down there. Remember, because you definitely don't want to cut your chain or your loop. 
Go ahead, I even pull that chain up here so you make sure you don't cut that chain. Go ahead with that tip of your cutter again. Snip that wire. Then you're gonna go ahead and cut right here. And then any part that has gotten a little bit distorted, which is easy when you're working with chain, you're gonna go ahead and just straighten out that loop a little bit with your chain nose plier. And there you have your briolette dangling from your chain.